Hi how are you? Today I am reviewing, iPhone 11 review. 2 minute review. Camera. This isn't something we normally do, but we're going to get right to the simple fact that the iPhone 11 camera is easily the standout feature on this handset. Apple has doubled the number of lenses on offer here, where the iPhone XR had one, porthole-like sensor on the rear, things are much more grandiose for 2019 with a whole window on the rear containing two 12MP sensors. It's a wide-angle array, that's to say you get the regular camera you'll find on every phone, plus an ultra-wide-angle lens that brings more of the scene you're shooting into the frame. Deep Fusion There was one feature Apple made a huge deal of at the iPhone launch event, and it could be the thing that propels the iPhone to the head of our list of best camera phones, or at least gets it very close, Deep Fusion. This feature will take 9 photos before you press the shutter button to take a snap, go through the information in each, and then on a pixel by pixel basis will decide how best to light and optimize the snap when you do take it. It was called Mad Science on stage, and if it works, we'll be happy to go along with Apple's description. Portrait Mode With the addition of the second camera, Apple has made portrait mode on the iPhone 11 far better than it was on last year's iPhone XR, where last year software was used to help the iPhone know which was foreground and which was background, the extra sensor gives more physical information to help. New to the portrait mode effects in iOS 13 is high key mono, joining the stage light and stage light mono options, at times it looks arty and professional, but if that foreground image isn't captured precisely, it looks a bit poor. Movie Recording Apple is making a lot of noise about how the iPhone 11 can shoot 4K footage at 60 frames per second, FPS, and it's got good reason to, having such a feature on a phone at this price is going to be attractive to a lot of people. Shooting at 60 FPS will bring a certain fluidity to the shot, although some might not enjoy the effect as it doesn't look like the footage you're used to seeing on TV. Slow Fies We've had selfies, bothies and groofies, and with the iPhone 11 Apple has added a new term to the lexicon of annoying front-facing camera slang, slow fies. The front-facing snapper here can capture slow-motion video selfies, and slow plus selfie gets you. Yep, slowfie. Thanks Apple, even selfie was bad enough. Design the design of the iPhone 11 is rather similar to that of the iPhone XR from 2018. In fact, if you place it face down and cover the camera, there's very little to show it's a new phone at all. You could, perhaps, tell by the new colors on offer, mint green, lilac and lighter yellow shades join the product, RED, black and white variants on offer this year. But beyond that, the iPhone 11 and XR look identical from the front. If you are reading this review wondering whether to go for the iPhone 11 or the new iPhone 11 Pro, then you'll want to know the cheaper device is a little thicker, admittedly, only 0.2mm so, but you can feel the difference if you hold both. Display Unlike the bigger 11 Pro, the iPhone 11 has a 6.1-inch display that uses LCD technology rather than OLED, calling it Liquid Retina. That means you won't get the richness of colors, nor the deep blacks and bright whites, that you'll find on handsets with more advanced screen tech. You're still getting a decent display here though, as Apple has crafted and calibrated the screen to be clear, bright and sharp, despite only having a resolution of 1792 by 828 pixels. iOS 13 and Performance As ever, Apple's new operating system is shown off to the fullest in its new iPhones, this time around its iOS 13, and the iPhone 11 packs some nifty features as a result. The first thing we really like is that the OS now has more well-rounded, intelligent mini notifications. That means that when you switch the phone to silent, or you change the volume, the little element that pops up to tell you what's happening is more useful and also interactive. Battery Life one of the highlights of the iPhone XR was that it was easily one of the longest-lasting iPhones we'd seen, if not the longest-lasting. We were actually worried that our testing process had gone wrong in some way, such was the surprising performance, but it was true, and the iPhone 11 carries on in that vein. 
we found it to be essentially as good as the XR in terms of stamina, easily making it through to the end of a working day in our testing. There's no fast charger in the box with the iPhone 11, which is clearly a cost-saving move as the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max both have an 18-watt charger in the box, which powers up the iPhone 11 far more rapidly than the standard USB plug it comes with. So I highly recommend getting the iPhone 11 review. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my RS product review channel. Thank you.